So here we go for the first Audi in the A through Z series. This one is one of the R8s. I don't remember the full name of it off the top of my head, but I believe this was the oldest one. I'm not entirely sure. Now also worth pointing out, you may be noticing that it already has snow tires on it. And that is because I already tuned this. Similar to the V12 Zagato video that came out before this one, I had already recorded the footage and everything for this R8 video, but unfortunately I lost the commentary, so I'm re-recording it. I can tell you right now, it is rally spec, it's completely rallied out, and it is um, the stock engine. I believe I tuned the stock engine as high as it would possibly go, um, but I didn't want to put in the 1500 horsepower V12. Um, I believe it has a V10 stock. And I kept that, and I think it's naturally aspirated as well. It may even just be the stock engine not upgraded at all. In fact, let's take a look. So first of all, this is the 2013 Audi R8 Coupe 710 Plus 5.2 FSI Quattro is the full title for this vehicle. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look. I, again, I don't think I did. Yes, so it is literally just the stock engine. Um, and it's just rallied out and it has not and it's at 926 pi um, It's not really, you know a good car for uh, Rivals mode because the pi is so low. It's so low in the s2 class um, But again, I had initially done the I just went balls to the wall. I put in the um, this this one the 6.5 liter v12 did that up as high, you know 1500 horsepower and the car just wasn't fun. Uh, I just wasn't having a good time with it. It was a pain in the ass to drive, especially in the snow. Uh, so I switched it to the stock engine, untuned, just regular stock engine. Everything else is upgraded as far as uh, you can see. It's got the front splitter, no rear wing, uh, giant uh, rally tires, snow tires. It's got the full transmission upgrade, the race brakes, all of that kind of stuff, the rally suspension. It just, it's the stock Audi R8 V10 engine and it it's still 926 pi so that's what we're going to be driving today I think we're going to do a championship and we're going to do it at Blizzard Mount okay here we go for the championship with the Audi I have selected this Blizzard Mountain Suburban Scramble there's a championship that starts here and I think I'm just going to do anything goes honestly so I decided to do a German championship, so you can see we have a selection of BMWs and Audis and Mercedes. Uh, so it's a German championship, and again, this first race is going to be at the Suburban Scramble. It does look like the other two races in this championship are going to be hill climb sprints, so that should be interesting. Uh, let me just take a look at the gearing. I believe it's adjusted already. Yeah, it's set up to do 197 miles per hour, and that is with it all the way over that way. Uh, let's see if maybe we can just uh, get it up to over 200. Whoa, man, it just really doesn't want to go above 199. That's all right. Uh, that's fine. It'll just mean a little bit better grip if we we'll, if we have uh, slightly longer gears. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Whoa! <laughs> that BMW is not going very quickly. Up the inside, loads more grip compared to those guys. Front splitter clearly doing its thing. Really no understeer to speak of through that corner, despite being on snow. Or snow-covered asphalt, at the very least. Cautiously over that hill. Just really didn't want to run out wide into that barrier. This looks like a third gear corner. There we go, on the power, ahead of the Bimmers, behind the Audi now, which is just a station wagon, but it's holding its own against an R8, and that's actually for the lead of the race. Did I get that? I think I did. Only just, though. Over the ice, lifting off. Braking and downshifting for that left-hander. 
And that's the end of the first lap. And we're already in the lead, so... The hill climbs, though, I expect might be a little bit more challenging for the R8 and might suit the uh, SUVs a bit more, for example. And that uh, station wagon. Unbelievable, the way it grips even under acceleration through that corner. The mid-corner grip is really, really nice. Nicely over that hill as well. Much better than the previous lap, I think. Fourth through there, and then down a third. Bit of handbrake, because I'm all out of sorts. Carried too much speed into that right-hander. But this car's great. Um, now, I knew that already, because again, I recorded this, and um, I'm actually kind of glad that I'm getting another opportunity to record this video. The Zagato video, I really could care less about. But I'm, I'm really glad that I actually get another opportunity to record this one, because I only got to do one race with this tune um, in the first recording. And now I'm going to get to do at least three races with this tune for this recording, and... Uh, this, it's so much more fun. The car is so much more controllable, predictable, slideable. All the abuls. Through these little switchbacks, back and forth, no problem. Oh. Bit deep into that one. But the Audi's fine. See, it just gets that little bit of oversteer when you would actually be expecting it to get understeer. And it just keeps the front end pointed the right direction. Oh. Not what I was trying to do. But we saved it. Oh, could have carried more speed through the left-hander there, for sure. I'm actually curious what the gap is going to be like when we cross the line. I wasn't sure if I could... I, I had a bad line through there, so... And I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to show off and spin across the finish line, because again, I, I want to see what the genuine gap here is. So far, my fastest lap is four seconds faster than the next car, but I'm also just now learning that all of these cars are in S1 class. So, thanks for that, Playground Games. So, really, I can take no pride whatsoever in winning that race. All right, round two of the championship, the German championship, where most of the cars are like 40 PI lower than me. So, this uh, should be another fairly easy one here. It's nice clear skies as well. And the extra power in my car is only going to help in a hill climb scenario compared to the uh, previous race. So, honestly, I don't expect the AI to have that much of an advantage here, if any, in comparison to the previous location anyway. I believe there's ice right at the outside of that corner, which is why I really just wanted to stay to the inside. Wow. Okie dokie. Really, really should not have touched that ice there. Was there ice at the inside of that corner too? I think there was. I don't know if... Because there were a couple of S2 cars in this race. I assume the BMW SUV in front of me is one of those.
That's probably not the line you're supposed to take, but whatever. I'm still leading, just about. A lot of handbrake there for that corner. I really wanted to be coming into it sideways. And actually, I think this is the right hander that has the ice at the outside of it. Or was it at the inside of it? I think it's at the inside. Whoops, a daisy. I didn't even do it right. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Gonna win pretty comfortably, though. Look at all that snow being kicked up. That's great. That is great. But again, I mean, it's kind of a hollow victory when... Yeah, I mean, that guy wasn't even one of the S2s. The Audi R8 V10 Plus in 6th position is actually the exact same PI as me. The BMW i8 below him in 7th. Only 5 PI lower, but no, that <laughs> the X6 that almost beat me was 40 PI lower than me. Final event is going to be at the Devil's Corners Hill Climb, which is the circuit that Fail Race does for his Rally Series, the Rally Monster Series, I believe it is. And I'm pretty familiar with this circuit, more as a spectator than as a driver, I have to confess, but... I feel that the Audi might be pretty good here, actually. Oh, good. It is blizzard conditions. Well, that will definitely not help me. Seeing as I am a human and don't really know where I'm going. So let's just, let's go for it. Let's give her all the beans. Full beans. No idea where I'm going. Wow, that's a third gear corner in this car. A lot of switchbacks here. Oh, hi. Thank you for the inside line. I'm just kind of following the cars in front of me. Uh, really uh, don't know where I'm going. I am up into fourth, though. Oh, I just landed on top of a car. I landed on top of a car. I landed on top of a car. Let's rewind that. <laughs> I don't know if I landed on this guy on the right or the guy on the left there. Yeah, I think it was Nick. I landed on Nick. So let's rewind that. Because I would like to win this race. There we go. Oh my god. This race is so much harder in a blizzard. <laughs> okay, this is the part with the ice and the bumps. There's the jump. Which means there's only a couple of corners left. Come on, 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 oh my god, oh my god, come on, damn it. At least I got second place back out of that final corner, but, uh, yeah, I just lost to a guy that's 40 PI lower than me, so maybe the Audi R8 isn't so good in the snow. Turns out, not a great snow car. Who knew? Who would have seen that? Who could have possibly seen that coming? 
Uh, it is a very fun car, though, I have to say, and it may be very good on the dirt. It could be a really good rally car, just not snow rally car, potentially, so... Yeah, uh, I wouldn't write it off. Certainly, if you have an R8, I would consider rallying it. But I would steer clear of the 6.5 liter V12, the 1500 horsepower engine. Because again, in my experience, it just kind of kills this car. It, it really, like, it kills the soul of it. Um, I, love, I love the car as it is in this state right here. Um, it's really, really nice. Look at these conditions. Look at these conditions. I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, I'm just kind of following these lights. Which is kind of working. Oh, I've turned way too early, though. I realize I'm just doing the Devil's Corner Hill Climb in reverse at this point. That's probably not the fastest way around that corner. Uh-oh. I'm headed right for some rocks. So, that is the... Oh, God. That is the 2013 Audi R8 Coupe V10 Plus 5.2 FSI Quattro. It's a great car. I think leave the stock engine. Maybe do, you know, all the naturally aspirated tunes for it. You know, so keep the V10, upgrade the naturally aspirated side of the engine, and, you know, maybe that will be a little bit more competitive for a time trials or, um, I, I mean, rival, rival mode and for online com competitions and stuff like that. Uh, it's probably never going to be the best rally car. But again, I, I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, so if you've got an R8 that you haven't done anything to yet, they all seem pretty similar, so I'd say go ahead and do it to any of them, but in particular, this 2013 R8 does seem to be quite the fun rally car. When you can see where you're going. Did I? I wasn't aware I had a destination set, Anna. Uh-oh. Basically backwards through that corner. That's definitely not the fastest way to do that. <laughs> so sideways. I need to stop following that guy. Oh, I feel like I could do that a lot better, especially in this car. Nope, 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 nope. Go to the left, thank you. Nope, one more time. Third gear is the one to use. Third gear is definitely the one to use. Oh, that's a PB, too. Oh, 2,700 more points. Okay, come on, 15,000. Nice, nice, nice. 
beat it by 5,000. That's what's up. See? See? This is a good car. This is a good car right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I Honestly, I must confess, I have no idea what the next Audi is, but I'm pretty sure it's another R8. In fact, I think all of the R8s are right off the bat the first cars that we're going to be doing. So, I hope you guys are looking forward to um, some more interesting cars. I think some more varied cars. Again, all the Aston Martins were pretty similar to one another. Not a huge variety, you know, they were all in S1 class, I think, except for the classics. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are we racing right now? Is this a race, guys? Oh, no! Oh, man, that framed it but I got the points at least so so yeah sorry I keep trying to end the video that's gonna do it guys thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time bye bye